Hi. Hello, all of you. I. Hi, Sanakshi. Hi, Ahika. Hello, Nanya. Hi, the colorful palettes. Sajani, Shruti. Thank you so much for joining. I'm just putting up the comment. And it's there. Done. Hi, Riddhi. Hi, Vaishnavi. Firstly, thank you so much for joining. Can you show reference? Uh, Ingenious Arts. Okay, if you want to see reference, actually, it was a big painting, big mandala, which I have uh, framed and given to my one of my very close friends. So the reference is not there with me. But yes, we are going to work around a beautiful mandala using two colors. I will be primarily using a black fine liner and a golden color. But uh, you can just check out Minora's page. The picture is already there. Or you can check out my page as well. The picture is there in the stories too. Hi, hi. I love your stationery. Thank you so much. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Dia. Thank you so much, Deepti, for joining. Hi, Pink Moon. Hello, all of you. So my desk, desk is ready. I'm so sorry. My desk is ready. So I have the products with me. If you don't have the products, quickly go and grab the material. So we need, I will be using my Minora sketchbook as usual. I have laid out all my sketchbooks on the desk. I will be using my sketchbook for making the mandala. I have my compass. If you don't have a very uh, advanced compass, please go ahead and use a traditional compass as well. Uh, I have my pencil and eraser, the basic stationery. And I have some fine liners. Now, for fine liners, the fine liners that I will be using are from Brewstro. You can always go ahead and use a Micron as well. Now, uh, as a beginner, I have used a lot of black gel pen. So, I always keep it ready. This is Trimax, which I've been using from, I think, my college days. And now I'm a teacher. Now, those who don't know me, I will quickly introduce myself. My name is Garima Chandir. I am a science teacher by profession, but I take up art on weekends. And after school, whenever I get time, uh, I will be uh, focusing today on mandala. The mandala is extremely beautiful and relaxing uh, art form, which helps you to interact and connect to your deeper thought. It helps you to express your feelings and emotions. Hi, Neha. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, I'm good. How are you? Now, for me, if you are joining this live uh, with me for the first time, I will quickly give you an introduction of what I do. My Instagram page is Mindful Art for Soul and it focuses pri uh, majorly on uh, expression of art. Uh, for me, uh, the end product doesn't matter as much as you are enjoying the process. So for me, it's more about the journey rather than the destination. So with this, uh, we are going to start with today's session. As I mentioned, uh, I've already talked about the material that we need for today's Instagram live. I have my Minora sketchbook ready and this is a 140 GSM A5 hardbound Minora sketchbook and I am in love. If you see, I'll just quickly show you. I've done some watercolor. I use it for acrylic and today I will be using it for mandala as well. Oh, hi, Helen. Okay, Helen, then please go and quickly grab your material because we are going to start with the session very, very soon. I hope uh, you are able to hear me clearly and the video is clear. Just give a thumbs up. Hi, Apoor, I'm good. How are you? You can just give me a thumbs up so that I know I'm audible and I'm visible and then we can move ahead with the live. Thank you so much, Dia. I got one thumbs up. So we are going to start with the mandala. Now, for the mandala, what we are going to do, just it's a do along session. So please enjoy it with me. I will be going slow as well. I know at times a lot of children join and uh, me being a teacher, I understand the pace <laughs> that everybody is different and we all work at different pace. So I will be starting with my compass and my uh, 
fine liner now uh, this compass is from Stedler and the fine liner is already fixed in this compass if you don't have this compass you can always use the traditional compass which we uh, have I'll just quickly show you so this is the traditional compass which I generally use now for this fan because it's a fancy stuff and I just wanted to use it so I have it here with me what are we doing today uh, uh we are making a golden mandala we are going to work around two colors one is black and the other one will be golden now if you don't have golden marker as i mentioned in the materials required you can always go ahead with golden acrylic color or uh, golden paint uh, now if you don't have golden color please don't shy away from using any brush pen any sketch pen because the ultimate motive behind any artwork is to enjoy the process right Thank you so much for joining. Now, so we are going to start with it. Always I try and make sure that I divide the page uh, in such a way so that I'm able to find the center point. Now with time what happens uh, that you are able to understand the center point. Now I, if you don't know how to find the center point, take a scale, measure it and you will somehow get the idea that this is the center point. Now from this side also measure it. So let's say if this is uh, 14.5678, it's 14.8. So roughly it should be 7.4. So this should be the midpoint. So I was able to identify it. It's also because I've been using these sketchbooks from a really long time. And these sketchbooks are really handy, travel friendly. And the paper quality is just amazing. So we are going to start with it. I have my center point ready. Now, the center portion of the mandala. Now, if you have attended my previous session, I'll just quickly show you. If you have attended my previous session, you saw that we started working in the center of the mandala as well. This was one which I did with Menorah uh, quite some time back. Now, the mandala that we are going to make today, uh, the center portion is going to be, the circle that I'm talking about is going to be mostly empty. I am not able to see the comments, so let's just see. Okay, my brother is a great fan. Thank you so much, Kartik. I hope your brother has also joined as well. Now, uh, Annapurna, firstly, you have a beautiful name. Now, the second thing is that uh, the reference picture, actually, I framed it and gifted it to one of my very close friends. So, I don't have the reference with me. But you can check out stories. Uh, you can check out Mirona's stories and my stories. My page is Mindful Art for Soul and the artwork is there. So this is my center point. Now what I'm going to do, I will take my compass. Now if you don't have the compass from Stedler or Maple, I'll quickly show you what you have to do. So first I will explain it using this compass. Put it in the center and make a circle. Now please go wild. Let's not focus on the measurement and just make a nice, nice big circle. So now I'm not, I, I also have this, but I, I think that most of the people will be using this compass. So I am showing you how to do it with the compass that you already have. Thank you so much. Now, uh, because it's a pencil, so maybe it's not very clear. Uh, but once I start putting the fine liner, you will be able to understand how to do it. Now, just to make it look more clear, what I'm going to use, I am just going to take my compass and make a line on top of the pencil line so that it's visible in the video thank you so much nakshatra it's nakshatra or nakshatra you know i deal with children so i see a lot of different kinds of pronunciation of the same name so i've used a pen just to make it look more clear so this is my first circle Okay, uh, as I just mentioned, I don't have the reference with me. I have actually uh, framed it and gifted it to one of my very close friends. So you can check out my story or my page. The picture is there. It's a golden mandala that we are going to make today. 
Now, this was the first thing. Now, using the same fine liner around the same circle, I am going to make it a little thick. So, just to make it a little thick, firstly, I am drawing a double line. So, this is a double line. And now, I am going to color the insides, but I will do it later, towards the end. Right now, the first idea is to draw these circles and then start making the patterns. So I've made two circles. This is the first circle and the second circle. And as I mentioned, the measurement right now is not very important. You just have to focus that you have given enough space in the center because we are going to make little flowers using golden uh, marker or golden acrylic paint if you have. Now, as I mentioned, even if you don't have golden color, please, uh, it's all about your expression, how you express your artwork. So you can always go ahead with brush pen, acrylic colors of some other, some other color, blue, white. Okay, white, if you're using a, a white sheet, you cannot use white. You can use blue, you can use yellow, you can use red, green, that's up to you. Now, the next thing, I am again going to extend this compass and draw another circle. So this is my second circle. Again, I'm going to layer this circle one more layer. I hope I'm not going too fast and you're able to catch up with me. If not, I'll give you breaks so that you can catch up. So you can see the first circle, the second circle for layering, then I've given some space for the third circle and for the fourth circle again for layering, I have given a little more space as compared to the first circle. Now there are two kinds of mandalas, we have open mandalas and closed mandalas. Now the closed mandala, I'll just quickly show you one reference that I have. Now this is an open mandala where I have drawn petals and somehow these petals are going outwards. So similarly, I'm going to work around an open mandala in this artwork as well. And for this, I cannot use a, a fine liner and I will be using a pencil. So I have my compass fixed and I will just draw a very light, with a very light hand, I've drawn a circle towards the end. So this is the base of our golden mandala. Okay, the marker, I am so sorry, uh, I just completely... Uh, missed few uh, comments so the marker that we are going to use so this marker that i have is by pen touch sakura you can also use sharpie uh, there's one uh, from uni i think it's uni paint marker uh, so these are the three brands that i have these are golden colors one is by pen touch sakura the other one is sharpie and the other one is uni paint so these are three markers that i have hi shreya I hope you're having a lovely Sunday and you have plans set for Independence Day. Hi Deepti, which brand rounder are you using that has pencil? This is, I think, you know, I got this when I was in school and I've passed school, uh, it's been seven years. So <laughs> I got it from a basic stationery. I'm good Deepti, how are you? What are we making? Aisha, we are making a golden mandala. Uh, you know in editing you just get some pens and some markers start making circles I'll tell you what you have to do nice jute background on the table from where did you get this I think I got it from INA that is uh, Delhi heart I am from Delhi somebody asked where are you from I'm from Delhi so I got these jute uh, sheets these are not sheets uh, yeah these are just jute sheets which I got I thought that I will be painting uh, on them but then I decided that why not use them as the background thank you so much for joining so till now I hope it's clear now the main part begins that we are going to make 
the patterns in these circles hi replying i i think i somehow missed your question so may so you can put your question once again now i have a uh, fine liners that i will be using these fine liners are from rustro uh, initially when i was starting um, mandala last year i uh, majorly used a uh, uh, fine liners from micron now as i mentioned i have been you drawing mandala from quite some time so initially i started with a black gel pen till date i've been using trimax for a lot of different purposes even for my correction work so trimax is one pen which i really recommend if you are a beginner now if you want to use fine liners you can always go ahead with sakura micron or you can go ahead with brusto they are quite economical and very very good a uh, black marker which marker i just mentioned so man these are from uh, brusto so i am going to start making the pattern for my circle now for uh, when you order uh, brusto fine liners or sakura fine liners uh, you get them in different sizes so the one that i have with me it's 0.3 and 0.8 the one which is attached to my compass is 0.5 mm so i majorly work around these three sizes why 0.8 mm i'll just quickly show you i will be using the 0.8 mm and filling up these space so i'm just filling up the space hi nafa you know i have always uh, mentioned in all my lives that whenever you say hi write down your name also because even even my instagram handle is mindful art for soul but how many people do really know that my name is garima <laughs> so you can just write down your name as well are we not going to make grids uh neha uh, for me i think uh, it is very important uh, see i am a philosophy student and for me even if you make mistakes you always learn and move ahead so what is the point of making grid so i just go wild and i draw whatever i feel like now uh, neha for you if you want to make grid you can please go ahead and start making grid i initially when i started uh, making uh, mandala mandala then i realized that you know grids are really helpful but after some time i realized that they are quite time consuming as well and with my full time work and art being uh, my uh, side thing i realized that i have to stop uh, focusing on the grid and start uh working on my artwork because somehow the artwork is supposed to give me peace uh if i talk about mindfulness through my art so mindfulness is all about being present in the being available in the present moment so i am just focused on what i'm doing and i just trust the journey hello all of you hi maria maria beautiful name you know that's why i just mentioned that a lot of children are also on instagram those who are joining on weekend just to attend these live and learn something new so i hope you are all doing it with me hi satakshi i'm an interior designer and decor student and entrepreneur as well beautiful somehow pandemic has taught us so many things and we have started exploring our own dimensions i'm just coloring it now uh, also uh, the time is limited so i would make sure that i'm able to complete this artwork in the given time frame as i just mentioned i'm just using my 0.8 mm uh, brusto fine liner and filling up the spaces just to make this look bold aisha i'm using brusto fine liner hi bhagya
Now, uh, the one thing that I would really like to talk about is uh, the paper quality of Minora. So you can see this is 140 GSM and just look at it. It's amazing. I have used acrylics, I have used uh, watercolor with a good amount of water in it and I just simply love uh, the paper texture. So this is my first layer, I have already colored it. Now for the second layer what I am going to do, I am just making, I will just use 0 0.5 ml. Niharika, then why why does it say Somya? It's quite confusing. I just got A7 size of Minora sketchbooks and they are amazing. Trust me, they are amazing. I'll just quickly show you. So I have one desk pad here with me. And the paper quality of desk pad is so good. If you know me, you know how much I am into art journaling. So I always take out a page, write a note to myself and then I paste it in my art journal. Recently, I got my hands on this beautiful beautiful a5 note, uh, sketchbook and here we have menorah's beautiful black sketchbook this is my mom's name perfect niharika got your point now now i've taken my 0 0.5 mm uh, fine liner and i'm making these inverted U's. Either you can call them inverted U's or you can call them scallops as well. I'm just making inverted U's and as Neha mentioned about grid, I am not making any grid. I think you know if we talk about making grid, we can have another session where I just talk about how to make a grid for mandala because that itself takes up a lot of time. So just go with the idea and start making these inverted U's. Now one thing with me is that I like to move around my paper or my sketchbook and then work. I don't have a very steady hand when it comes to working on art pieces so I always make sure that I'm moving around my sketchbook. Takshi, I hope you are doing it with me. Those who are doing this uh, uh, golden mandala with me, I would love to see your work. You can always tag me in your post. If you are planning to put it on Instagram or on your stories, you can tag Minora. And don't, otherwise you can always send it to me. I always reply to all the DMs. What is your idea on Instagram? Chaitanya, it's mindful art for soul. I've uh, pinned the comment. You can check that out. now so somehow even without grid i was able to finish it and i'm quite satisfied with what i have got so this is the first circle now i'm going to move forward and we are going to go towards the next circle now it's still incomplete but i would make sure to have a basic framework and then we can move ahead uh, Sanya, hi firstly thank you so much for joining now i don't have the reference with me you can just check out menorah's page on my page the uh, picture of the artwork the reference is there it's just that that the golden mandala was done on a uh, three sheet and that has been beautifully framed and i have gifted it to one of my very close friend I am a beginner and my works are not perfect but I am satisfied. I think Helen that is the per beautiful uh, way to understand how art works. It just, have, it just needs to give you the satisfaction, the joy that you have made something. So my first uh, circle is done. Now moving to the next one. Uh, this time I am making petals. So these are petals. Again, doing them without the grid. Now bear with me for one or two minutes so that I can at least complete this pattern. 
I've recently uh, made an extensive course on Mandala as well, which is available on EFA courses. So if you want to learn more about Mandala, you can go always go and check that out. Can yes, yes, they are. You can always make a different pattern. You know, I quite like these petals and these scallops but if you like something else please go ahead and make something new i would love to see what you have done to the artwork uh how can we practice to get even petals now i uh, will quickly tell you how to practice even petals let me just complete this part and i'll come back I have finished it now um, regarding the even petal I was just thinking to discuss about this uh, meanwhile you completed uh, Anushka is saying that I can't hear you can you hear me just can I can I just get a thumbs up if you can hear me am I audible Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, for practicing petals, these desk pad would be so handy. So if you can just see, I'll just quickly zoom in and show you. So these desk pads are actually squared, squared desk pad and they are very, very good. So the squares have already been made. So it's like a pattern sheet. You can always take a pencil and start practicing your petals. So just see how much space you need and then start practicing these petals these are available on menorah you can practice your mandala patterns and they are beautiful they are beautiful anushka just see if the volume of your phone is high enough now so this is the basic framework of my uh, mandala. Now I will start adding details into it. Now firstly when I'm adding details, whenever you're using a, a pen to add details, always go ahead with a thinner pen. So I will be using 0.3 mm pen for this. I recently conducted my first live session but I didn't get much audience. Any tips to increase my reach on Instagram? Okay, let's do one thing. Let's discuss about reach on Instagram towards the end of the session. What do you say? Curious girl. Uh, yes, this live will, will be saved on uh, Menorah's IGTV. Now for the pattern, again, I it's okay, I got your point. I got your point, no worries. Now for this pattern, again, as I mentioned, that you can always go ahead and start making new patterns. For this one, I am just planning to firstly draw a center line in all my inverted U's. Draw a center line in all my inverted U's. Draw my center, uh, draw center line on all the inverted U's. And then on one side, I'm just going to draw these wheels. Just on one side, I'm drawing wheels. Just on one side. Now, I'm not using 0 0.8 or 0 0.5 mm pen. I'm using 0 0.3 mm because once you use a thicker pen, it will uh, leave blotches on the paper, which we don't want. And we want the artwork to look uh, uh, delicate as well as intricate. So if you want your artwork to look, look intricate, you always go ahead and start using a thinner Pen. okay you want me to zoom in is it better now i'll just move my is it better i think it looks better if i can just get a thumbs up <laughs> and the teacher in me is asking my kids to give a thumbs up thank you so much Mika. so i'm just making means on just one side
Thank you so much. Now it also depends on how you perceive your artwork or how you perceive your mandala. For me, mandala is all about. It's not just about mandala. Any form of art, it's all about uh, uh, achieving peace. Talking about mindfulness. So right now, if I'm drawing this, if I'm just enjoying, I'm just in the present moment. I have a lot of work to do, but I'm just connected and concerned. She is using zero point three. Thank you so much, Radhi. As I just mentioned, I like to keep uh, moving my sheet or my sketchbook. So I'm just using my sketchbook. Those who have joined a little late, I'll just quickly tell you I'm making a golden mandala. And I'm using sketchbook from Menorah, which is 140 GSM A5 hardbound notebook. You're incredible because your art, all art skills are amazing. Lakshay. Thank you so much. You are incredible because you are able to perceive what I do. Thank you Niharika. I love you too. Now if you like my work, you can just double tap on the pictures that I have shared. I have started exploring different art forms. Mandala, acrylic, art journaling, minimalist art. And I've recently uploaded some of my uh, reels and you can see some watercolor, watercolor bookmark which I've made using Minora's sketchbook. So two things we will talk about towards the end of the session. Let's quickly finish this. Towards the end, I would like to talk about how to get some Instagram reach on uh, your live or anything else that you do. And we can also have a sketchbook tour and see what things I've done. What's your Insta ID? Please let us know so we can follow. Uh, Rithi, it's there. Uh, the comment is pinned. It's mindful art for soul. Move your sketchbook. Okay, I think, yes, I think now it's better. Just quickly finishing this up. Riddhi is asking about uh, my ID. If somebody can put it in the uh, chat, it will be really helpful for her as well. Last four use left and then I'm done. Thank you so much. Now, uh, we'll move to the next circle in a while. I would love to add some golden touch to it. So I'm using my golden marker. As I mentioned that I have three golden markers. One is by Pen Touch uh, Sakura. The other one is from Sharpie. And this is Unipaint marker. Uh, they work really well on canvases as well. This one, I am in... I am totally in love with this pen. I have been using it from quite some time and I got it when there was no COVID. I got it from a stationery fair which happened in Pragati Madan and it's been 4-5 years that I'm still using it. So I have this marker with me and I'm just simply going to add golden color. Just be a little careful, try not to move out. Okay. 
even if you go out you can always cover it up with the black now here you have to be a little patient and that's what mandala teaches you how to be patient and it comes from a person who is extremely impatient hi dear which pen is this uh devi this is this uh this is a marker a uh, golden marker by pen touch sakura and you know when you use them on a canvas it really gives you a very shiny uh, looking appearance time is running by and we i would love to complete this artwork in the given time frame now those who don't have a golden color please go ahead and take a brush pen and use any color any color it's not just about a uh, golden it's about making yourself happy on a saturday evening and relaxing a bit uh this is uh, by sakura pen touch so you can see my golden is done almost ready now the same golden i am just going to draw more petals here now uh once you uh, regarding the colors you just have to have a basic understanding of the color wheel i studied color wheel when i was in college and i was able to understand how and what color goes together but towards the end you know i have realized that it's not just about the colors which go together it's about what makes you happy so if you feel that blue and purple are looking good together that means blue and purple are looking good together So for me, it's not just about the choice of color. It's about how you go with the artwork and what impact it leaves on your soul. So I think I have completely shifted my perspective from an artist to a philosopher now, because I have started associating this, ah, uh, these colors, these artworks to my mental well-being. So I've done this. now using the same marker right now i'm not picking up my black pen i thought my golden is ready so let's just try and finish up with the golden work for the center i am just making a basic flower it's a basic lotus Now it depends on the space that you have because I've used an A5 sketchbook, so I think I will be able to uh, fix around uh, two to three. If you have more space, you can make more flowers. It's not necessarily lotus, but you can make any other flower as well. So I'll just make one hair as well, maybe a three petal. Flower, and then a. Uh, that's it. Beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. How many types of mandala can you make? Uh, I think Shiva. It depends on my mood mostly. The types of mandala I can make. I've made extensive mandalas as well. I've made mandalas just to please myself. I've made mandalas while I. i'm conducting a class so <laughs> it depends on the things that you can do if you want to learn more about mandala shiva there there's an extensive course which i've taken up with efa courses so you can always go ahead and you will learn everything about mandalas there
Uh, Rishika, it started at six, but don't worry. I'll try and uh, apprise you of what we are doing. Which shade you're wearing? I think this is from Nika. I'll have to. I'll just click a picture and send it to me. Remind me in my DM. No worries, Radhika. It's okay. We have our priorities set. Now, this is the golden part that we have taken. Again, I will start using my black. I will go with my 0 0.5 and I am making another shape in the petal. Uh, Riti, I will see if I can save it on my page as well but this live will definitely be saved on Minora's IGTV. I'll put it as my story so that it, you will be directed to Minora's page. Yes, this live will be saved. My Instagram ID is mindful art for soul. Thank you so much. Somehow, do you, do you believe that somehow you all have become friends and close to each other through this platform? Thanks to Minora for conducting these live sessions and they have been conducting these live sessions extensively. Now, in the center, I am just going to make petals. Just drawing three petals. Uh, my name is Garama Chandel. I am a teacher by profession and I take up art as my passion. It started last year during lockdown so I have completed uh, one year on Instagram on my art page and I'm thoroughly enjoying it and Minora has given uh, me that platform to interact and meet new people and teach and talk about my art on a greater level. So all thanks to Minora. And somehow Minora has reached all, had they, Minora has actually touched all our hearts with their amazing, amazing products. I cannot use any other paper, I cannot use any other sketchbook for me, it's all about Minora. And you can see it on my table as well, although I've zoomed in. So this is a desk pad from Minora, I just talked about how you can use uh, this desk pad uh, to take notes and to practice mandala patterns as well. I have a beautiful Minora A5 hardbound sketchbook, then the, this is the one classic black sketchbook. So I think Minora you're doing a great job thank you so much how are you i just saw that you are unavailable on instagram so i hope everything is good with you just start up i want to ask about the scope of art for future okay uh let's just add it towards the end of the question and i'll discuss it at quite length about the art of future art for future so this is what I have created. I would still love to add some details, but first let me just erase the last pencil mark. Hi, thank you so much for joining. Now I am going to use the mark, golden marker and just adding a petal here. Not filling up completely, but just adding a petal. Now the artwork is still not yet complete. There are certain things that we are going to add and all the best part, the dessert is saved for the last. We are going to add some details into the artwork. Yes, Niharika, please go ahead, ask your questions. Hi, Krupath. Uh, I hope okay. Hi, I'm not able to. I is this your name? I'm so sorry. I'm very bad at names. I'm not able to remember the names of my students as well at times. 
Now, so this is the artwork that we've done and now I'm going to take my 0.5 mm pen. Instead I'll take 0. Yeah, 0.5 mm pen and now you're going to add some outlines to the golden work just to give it more depth. So you can actually see the difference once you add the marker, once you add the outline to the golden work, then you can see. So this golden pen, I'll just put it here, is by Pen Touch Sakura. Just adding the black line around my golden shapes. Ma'am, can you once conduct session between different types of paints like watercolor, gouache, acrylic, top view of the differences? Okay, uh, it I think it takes a lot of time uh, to understand the consistency. All these, they have different kinds of consistency and they work differently. So yes, surely we can take it up in another life. Golden one is uh, gold or oro, uh, quick, dry, permanent, opaque, pen, touch, sakura, calligrapher, pen 5.0 mm i am using brustro fine liners now the same i'm going to do with them and i'm just going to add outline to my golden work and you will see once you add the outline to your golden marker how beautifully the entire artwork is lifted somehow you're just adding life to your golden color and as I mentioned if you're doing it with me please don't forget to tag mindful art for soul that's me and menorah we would love to feature your artwork go check out menorah's website as well they have amazing amazing products I just talked about few products during my life while conducting and talking about the artwork so you can actually see the difference between this, the first lotus and the next lotus because just by adding the black line, how beautifully it is lifted. I will show my golden pen. Just I'll just finish this up and I'll show my golden pen as well. Just outlining my flowers so that they look more lighty and my leaves and to that so you can see how uh, different it looks now thank you so much Lakshya uh not really so i have time and I, I think i have three questions so i will be discussing about those three questions towards the end of the session i would still love to add few details to it so i'll just talk about the details that i'm planning to add here i'm planning to add some black on in the negative space so this is the space that is left after drawing the pattern is known as negative space so as I have some time left, so I will be drawing and filling up these negative spaces with black color. But at some point you also have to understand where to stop. Thank you so much. You can see how different it looks now. Now 
I will just quickly use because it's a uh, greater space so I will use 0 0.8 mm mostly I use 0 0.8 uh, to fill up the spaces so I'm using 0 0.8 mm pen now this pen is from Brewstro as I mentioned If you are starting with Menorah uh, uh, sketchbook, please, uh, I would highly recommend 140 GSM and 180 GSM A5 hardbound sketchbooks. They are amazing. And also, if you're starting with uh, uh, Mandala, if you want to learn patterns, if you want to understand how the pattern flows, please go ahead and buy these desk pads from Menorah. Again, beautiful and really help you to practice the patterns. Uh, in your personal account, it's good, really. Oh, thank you so much. So we are just... And towards the end, let's we are going to talk about uh, how to get Instagram reach. Uh, now, please understand, uh, consistency is very, very important. And uh, for me, interacting with the audience has really uh, helped so try not to make the session flat try uh, and talk a lot while you are conducting the session i always try and know my uh, audience so i think the most of you those who have joined i know them uh, because uh, we have interacted and somehow uh, created that bond thank you so much happy indian thank you so much trisha also, if you are asking uh, your audience to uh, message you or to show your show you the work that they did with you in your DM, don't forget to reply. I always reply. One day I, I connected with around 500 people over Zoom and so many people replied that I'm, I'm a kind of a person who would prefer to sleep by 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. But that day I was up till 12 replying to all the DMs in my Instagram so make sure that you are able to commit to and you love your work if you love your work your audience will love your work too so right now i'm just happy and enjoying this session i'm in love with what you what i'm doing i'm in love with the response that i've got i already made a digital art journal inspired by you i must say you are a down-to-earth person not everyone replies to queries and responds to the post uh, i think i need to take this uh, picture of the comment and I'm going to keep it as a memory because this has really made my day today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just, just give me a second. Yes. I try, I just try and interact with people as much as I can. That's it. Now there are a few more questions. If you have any other question, please go ahead and ask. I would love to answer all your queries. You should actually take live classes daily by evening. I wish I could, but I am not taking it up professionally. I am a teacher. I have to check assignments. I have to check notebooks. I have to take classes. I have to make assignments. So it's actually a lot of work to do. So I think it's not really possible for me to conduct live on a regular basis. But yes, I have never said no to whenever Menorah approached me because this brand is so close to my heart. Menorah Stationery, you are so, so, so close to my heart. And to be, I'll just give you a very cute fact that when I started my Instagram journey, uh, Mino, I conducted my live session, my first ever live session with Menorah. And I also have the... Uh, the work that we did so i'll just show you so this was done in the session if you remember uh if anybody of you attended the live that this was my first live ever and i made this in my first life and this flower will always stay with me forever yes i will just quickly show you my golden pen so this is the golden pen this is by uh pen touch sakura you can see 0 0.5 mm it is really, really good. Really helps you to understand the thickness of the uh, uh, paper as well. What are qualifications required to become a professional art teacher? Uh, uh, Divya, uh, for your information, I'm not an art teacher. 
I am a science teacher. I teach science, but nonetheless, I enjoy art a lot, and I've taken up art in my school as well. I think there are some certain qualifications, but more than uh, about qualification, you need to have the heart to be a teacher. Please send it to me. I would love to see your work. I did not study art. I was forced to take up art as a subject uh, during my B.E. days because the other option that they offered was theater, and I'm terrible. terrible person when it comes to acting on stage so the other option was art so i took up art no worries the they are please don't worry please share its link to buy okay happy indian please uh, check minora's uh, website you can just tap and click on the page it will da- redirect you to minora's website and you can always use a code garima5 to get 5% discount on minora stationery products So those who are planning to buy Minora's uh, Minora's uh, sketchbook please go ahead you can see i have so many so many things so i have one desk pad i have black sketchbook i have 140 gsm i have 180 gsm so many books and the products are just really amazing so if you're planning to buy uh, uh the sketchbooks today please don't forget to use the code garima5 for for 5% discount as well Thank you so much. Any other query that you would like to ask? Anything else? Any question? Thank God you chose art. Uh, I feel art chose me. <laughs> I will definitely see your artwork. You can either tag me or put it as a story and then tag me or send it to me on my DM and I will certainly reply. Artistic science must be great for students. I hope. Thank you so much, Ashwini. How about cost and pricing? Uh, 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 you'll have to tell me your in on what sense, on what grounds you're talking about cost and pricing. Is it about Menorah? But trust me, it is value for money. All Menorah products are value for money, and you can see the amount of uh, products I have. I'll quickly show you one artwork which I did recently. This is going uh, shifting away from the topic that we did today, but this is uh, this was done using acrylics, so you can see. this was done using acrylics and of course you know that acrylics need some heavy paper this is 180 gsm i've used a little bit of cutting just to add my personal art journaling so this is the kind of product that you are to going to talk about so it is definitely definitely value for money uh how to become better in art what we should do practice your from and your qualification okay i'm double masters and i'm from delhi the discount code is garima5 i'm putting it in the chat box it's there in the chat box so you can use the discount code garima5 and you can order uh minora sketchbook uh please 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 go ahead with black sketchbook is really good i'll just quickly show you the pages are really really awesome you can the thickness of the page is beautiful i will certainly check your artwork you can dm me your artwork i would love to reply and give you feedback i hope you had a lovely time while uh, making this golden mandala i'll just zoom in and this is what we have done today i somehow missed one leaf So this is what we have done today. Please tell the cost of this black book. Lakshya, please go to the website. You can see the cost of the black book, and you will get a five percent discount if you use the code Garima five. I will certainly do that. Dia, send it to me in my DM. I will certainly do that. Any other query? Instagram reach. Thank you so much. You reminded me of the question. Now, when we talk about Instagram reach, you always have an option about insights. Go to the insights and check uh, what is the time your followers are most active, and try and start uh, posting your um, uh, material or your artwork around that time. Also, uh, tr- uh, be in line with trend. Now this comes from a person who is not really available and I'm not spending a lot of times creating reels but yes reels do blow up uh one of my reel uh again it was done on Minora sketchbook blew and it reached 18k views so reels 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 they are very good 
uh, for me uh, maintaining feed is very very uh, difficult although people say that if you're maintaining your feed it looks aesthetically good but i focus on the artwork instead of focusing on the feed so i enjoy what i uh, do and be consistent i hope that was helpful thank you so much arts unlimited studio any other query that you would like to ask any question so with this we have come towards the end of the session i had a lovely time interacting with you all i hope you had a lovely time too while creating this artwork uh getting answers to all your queries i hope to some extent i was able to help you if not please dm me my instagram handle is mindful art for soul thank you so much uh art sun limited studio now it's time to say bye thank you so much lovely people those who join scope yes uh dia i'm so sorry i forgot it thank you so much for reminding uh now when when we talk about the scope of art actually art has picked up a great scope now it also depends on which field you are what you're doing what's uh uh what other things you can incorporate like for me i have started incorporating with philosophy uh uh art i with philosophy and psychology because i have started psychology as well as philosophy i've done my masters in philosophy so somehow uh talking about mindfulness somehow talking about peace mental health and relating it to art has also helped me now there's one uh, particular course which i which is actually taking a toll is uh art being an art therapist i i art therapist uh that's a beautiful beautiful thing uh you because i deal with children so i understand the kind of therapy art can work on so art therapy is one thing so you can talk about it as well i will certainly do that thank you so much dia so many dias have joined today so with this we come to the end of the session thank you so much i'll see you all soon bye bye